Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. This is your boy Bashiro. So the beta ended one hour ago, and I know that all of us are feeling empty inside now because we cannot play Strive anymore. <laughs> but we have to cope with it, you know. So I just want to share my opinion in this video. Like, what are the five things that the beta got right, and what's looking good for the game upon release, and what are the five things that the beta got wrong, and in those five things there are some things that I believe that need to be ironed out like before the game release on what the game needs to do like in the future for it like to be more engaging so okay guys uh, if you enjoy this kind of content don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and let's begin with this so first things first the game has depth and in my opinion this is amazing uh, because at first when we saw the game upon uh, like announcement it looked like it lacked depth to be honest and they were seeking like to like to simplify things just to make it easier to like for for entry level you know players or for people to get into guilty gear which is an approach i understand but you always run the risk of like alienating people who want to get more out of the game not about guilty gear veterans but it's mostly people who are looking for more depth in in a fighting game and i'm happy to to say like this game has a lot of depth i spent long time grinding in this beta and there's a lot of depth yet to be discovered not only on a game mechanics level but also on a character level because at face value it feels like all the characters has been simplified uh, less moves less commas etc but there's a lot of depth when it comes both to neutral and to defensive uh, mechanics and i feel like this is where the meta will head eventually so if you're looking for a fighting game with lots of depth definitely <laughs> there is depth to be found here you know uh, the second thing that the game got right actually is the net code, like the rollback boys. Once you taste the, sm the the game of rollback, you're not going back. Now every single fighting game that doesn't have rollback is automatically bad, no matter how the good the game systems are, you know. So I miss rollback. <laughs> I miss strive already, and the net code will carry this game. I'm telling you, rollback will carry Guilty Gear Strive, especially after release, because. This is one of the few like high profile games that did it right. It's not only about like uh, having a rollback netcode. This is actually a good rollback netcode. This is not Street Fighter V rollback netcode. These people knew what they were doing when they implemented this. And 95% of my matches were amazing, regardless of the distance. If you have stable connection, you're gonna be having a good time. But I'm sure you've heard this a million times that this game's online is good and in the age of COVID-19 and now we're in 2021 and social distancing and the lack of our offline scenes this is a game where there is really potential for online tournaments and there is really potential for competitive online play and I really salute our system works for putting the time and effort to implement a good online experience yeah and the third thing that the game got right actually is the training mode the training mode in Strive is amazing uh, to be honest, uh, there's a lot of options for you to practice things and for me this is a godsend. Our system works, they always have good on, uh, training modes, but in Guilty Gear Strive they keep improving on it. And there's a lot of options just to practice a lot of scenarios and, you know, be able to replicate whatever scenario you run into, uh, offline, or, uh, offline or online. So training mode is robust, there's a lot of options to record, there's a lot of options that they started to bring like from Grand Blue Fantasy Versus and I feel like this is a game where you can just sit and lab in training mode as much as you like, you know, discovering things every day. So good job Arc System for putting a great training mode in your game. Even though the training mode is fantastic, I feel like the thing that they really 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 need to add is actually frame data because uh, I need to know what moves are uh, like frame advantage what moves are minus on block plus on block etc because this game is much slower so i feel like this information is crucial you know like training mode i feel like it's 80 percent complete it's amazing but if you add frame data it will be perfect please don't sell it to me later as part of a dlc or a future update i feel like this should be normal now in fighting games ground blue had it there's no excuse for guilty gear not to have it the fourth thing is that the offline user interface of the game is really good. We're talking offline. <laughs> We're going to online later. Like uh, the main menu, I feel like it's easy to navigate. And overall, the visual design, I feel like they polish it up much, much better. To be honest, both, both in the offline modes like training, character select, button settings, the command list, the training mode navigation. All of these things, by the way, are, are good. And the user interface has been heavily improved compared to what we saw last time 
this is something that we take for granted but if a game is easy to navigate and to get into matches and to go wherever you need to be this is actually a very good choice so this is also a very good design decision that they implement the fifth thing which is in my opinion worthy of praise is actually how the game runs on the ps5 uh, i haven't played much on the ps4 but what i can tell you from the ps5 it looks gorgeous <laughs> To be honest, not only the graphics, also the visual effects, the character models, the sharpness of the game. And also, it runs so fast. There is like literally barely lo any loading times, you know. If there is loading time, it's due to the online buffering. But in offline, this game is so, so buttery smooth, to be honest. It's, it's amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that I actually have a functioning arcade stick to play it on the PS5. So this feels really, really like a true next gen fighting game you know and with good online this is an excuse just to play on the ps5 it's not always also like uh, sunshine and roses in the beta but there are things that i hope that they will tackle either upon release or in the future of the game because i feel like strive really need to work on those things for it to be like a mega success you also need to remember guys that if you are paying money to get a game you need to get like the game's worth you know so now that the beta is over, now is the time that to speak up and to say like what are the things that need to be fixed. Because when it comes to Japanese fighting game developers, they don't really listen to feedback after release. So this is not negativity, this is not like just bashing the game or etc. This is actually the time to speak up because at the end of the day you are the end user and you are the consumer and you will be the one who will be playing the game. You know, if we don't ask for things now to be fixed, the developers will not include it and actually it's more work for them so let's have some positive constructive criticism you know and these are mine actually because there is still some gripes that i found in the game so the first thing actually is the online lobbies now everyone has talked about the online lobbies and to be honest the online lobbies they suck <laughs> there's no way around it i don't i don't really like the the ranking system i don't like how the lobby is built i don't like how the matchmaking works in the lobbies i feel like it's like our system works they like to be creative and sometimes it's a hit and sometimes it's a miss and guys our system work this is a miss you really need to fix it online i know that you're sticking with this pixelated visual design it's fine keep it but getting into matches, matching with people and those things, it's a really horrible experience. I like the idea of a celestial floor. I've been there, I've hung out with the gods, I've been kicked out. But you have to do something. Matching needs to be more smooth and matching needs to be much more easier in the lobbies. Uh, this is not working, by the way. And if you're playing in the lobbies, you will be locking out a lot of players depending on their skill level. But uh, we'll see how this will be evolving over time. Uh, the second thing which is to be honest to be expected is the beta stability because we had like more than a day we cannot we can barely access the beta like we had to do workarounds just to access it and to be honest I expected this to be happen but this happened for too long and it was really really painful to be honest because like you can like you, you can barely even access the offline you know and I feel like they were not ready to handle this much of people trying to access the beta at the same time. But this is to be expected, to be honest. And I can give them a kind of pass because they extended the beta for two days. So this is a very nice gesture. And they were really good with the communication about the game. Uh, the third thing is that, uh, to be honest, this beta didn't feel truly like a beta. <laughs> this, this felt like a game test, you know, they're testing the game. Because in the first couple of hours, like a lot of broken... Uh, busted uh, cheap stuff were found like infinite uh, breaking the system mechanics uh, like the Giovanna infinite the soul infinite the the Potemkin teleporting you know so I understand because of COVID they weren't able like to test this game in tournaments and in and like on offline scenes you know but uh, I felt like they did like they gave you access to the training mode intentionally <laughs> because they wanted people to test the game for them because to be honest, if the game was released with that current state, uh, it, w it will be a very big disaster. I felt like they opened the floodgates so they can identify what's cheap and what's broken and so they can fix it. It's a smart move, Arc System works, but don't think that I will not notice any. <laughs> yeah. uh, the fourth thing that I hope that they will address in the game is actually the damage. I feel like the damage in this game is really high. But I feel like it's from a game design perspective that they're trying like, to 
maximize the damage like from punishes from the corner etc and reward that kind of playstyle but i feel like this is promoting real aggressive play and the damage the reward is so high especially if you have rc meter like some matches they can end in two combos you know there is i know that there's a risk gauge and there's the gut system etc but the damage is really 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 high like if you're playing like against an agiriyuki for example or a potemkin they can delete you with two wrong decisions from your side so i hope that you tone down the damage a little bit uh, because it feels really really sometimes like matches will end really quickly and that doesn't feel nice you know it feels like robbery uh, the last thing that i want them to improve also in the game is i'll combine it into one thing it's about the battle system i feel like the battle system of guilty gear is good but there are th some things that they need to change to be honest uh, i feel like we need we need a bit more gatherings in the system because currently it's so limited because you can go like from a punch to a command normal you can go like from normals to command normals you can go like from a kick to a sweep etc i feel like this is too much simplifying things i feel like we need more gatherings in the game uh, just to give the pressure situations or like the neutral situation more more interesting stuff you know i feel like the gatherings are too limiting and they need to they need to enhance upon it and i feel like they need also to add more combo variety no need to go for like super long complicated combos but give us more expression and give us more opportunity to convert from the normals that we land because right now the combo system feels really limiting and you really need to rely on rc just to land like the nice combos you know um, i know the intention of guilty gear service is to simplify the game you know and like to start fresh but you, you need to give players opportunity to express themselves you know and combos are the best way to do it you can do it without breaking the game and you can do it without complicating the game so i hope that they give us more opportunity to, to like to execute more nicer combos and to, uh, to allow us to express ourselves through our characters you know because as it currently stands i feel like uh, it's just so easy to do combos in this game and we need we need we need we need more nice and flashy things to be honest that's what makes anime games so interesting i think that's it guys i don't want to make this video too long uh, this f past few days has been wild to be honest thank you so much for your support thank you for all the comments <laughs> for the live stream yesterday it was really amazing now i feel empty and sad that the game the beta has ended but we have to wait until april uh, definitely let me know in the comments what did you enjoy about the game and what do you think that needs improvement just to enhance the the final game when it gets released i'll be making a video later on just to recommend to you some fighting games you can play just to try to fill the void you know <laughs> until we get strive again because it has been really really a nice experience okay guys thank you so much for watching i still have more strive videos that i will be releasing just to have some content you know to share until the game gets released so definitely stay tuned and i'll catch you in the next video yalla peace